Hello. Um, so on this video, I'm just kind of going to go over why bariatric surgery, the steps that you have to take. Um, so a little background story on me. I'm Jerrica. I live in Florida. I was going to say South Florida because I was born in Miami, but I live in Orlando now. Um, so I'm a behavioral therapist and I do a lot of in-home therapy. Um, I came across a client where their caregiver, their mom, basically, she was new to the ABA world. I was like her first therapist that came into her home and she just was freshly out of like surgery, bariatric surgery. And she was like heavy set. And so I was like, oh, you know, like, how did you even, you know, get the surgery? How much did you pay? Was it expensive? What did you have to do? So I asked her all of the questions. And since I was literally at her home five days a week, I saw her from like her recovery to, um, no, from even before her pre-op diet. She was very close to her pre-op pre diet. She was like in the last week and then she was going into surgery then i had a week off because she was in surgery and the next week she's literally like working again so it piqued my curiosity mind you i didn't have the greatest insurance growing up i had obamacare and you know very low income so going back to it she kind of knew everything and i was asking her so many questions like girl give me the details right so I have United Healthcare. So what ended up happening was that she's like, the first thing you need to do is call your insurance. I was like, okay, cool. So I called my insurance first and I let them know, oh, this is a big thing. I let them know that I was interested in getting a bariatric sur I was interested in getting bariatric surgery. Um, what are the steps I have to take? Does my insurance cover it? Yada, yada, yada. So United Healthcare actually has a whole sector. It's called bariatric resources for you, where you have your own bariatric nurse, you have the you have the people who will call you. I you want to say hi to my puppy? Here you go. He he went in the cage. Hey baby boy. So you have a whole sector of people that literally is for you. They let you know which surgeons are under the United Healthcare Bariatric Union in a sense that they're in their bariatric of resources excellence. I guess it's a certain certification that the surgeon is supposed to have to make them top tier for premium insurances. And so since I have a premium insurance, I have a PPO, meaning no referrals, no anything, they actually have to qualify for me to see them. And I thought, thought that was really great. It gave me some comfort of like, oh my goodness, I can go to a very crappy surgeon. You know, that that's scary. Um, so they set me up with a list of information Basically, I had to go see a surgeon. They gave me a list of surgeons that I can go to. They sent it to my email. And they started taking my height, my weight, which they were able to, you know, calculate my BMI. And if I'm willing to do an in-network or an out-of-network out surgeon. I did an in-network since I have been premium insurance. A little backstory on this BMI situation. <laughs> so, with um, my insurance, you have to have sorry, you have to have a BMI of 40 and above if you want to be approved with no com comorbidity. Okay, I'm Hispanic, so my accent is kind of woo, right? And if you're lower than 40.0, um, 40.0, which is a 
up to a 35 in BMI, you have to have comorbidities to be even a candidate for bariatric surgery. So, my current weight when I had called was 260, 260, like seven, 268. And they said, well, you fit in the bracket of you needing to have comorbidities. Do I have high blood pressure? No. Do I have diabetes? No. Do I have sleep apnea? I did a sleep apnea test, but I never followed through with a sleep apnea because I'm like, I'm not gonna sleep with no CPAP or whatever. So no. So I was like, I told my wife, I'm like, damn honey, you know, and this kind it counts on it. it. It sounds bad, but I'm like, damn, honey, like, I'm not going to qualify for the surgery because I'm missing, like, two or three pounds, literally, to have it covered by my insurance. If not, I got to take a trip to Mexico, and I was watching those YouTubes, and i never been, you know, to Mexico, so I was just like, who's going to do that? Who has that money to pay out of pocket like that? None of that. So I was like, I called my mom. I called my sister and I called my wife and I told her, well, guys, Jerrica's going to do everything in her power to gain four pounds. Mind you, you might say that was easy. It was not. I have polycystic ovarian syndrome. I am big by default in a sense that I am in my household. We are the organic family. My minor was culinary arts, so I love to cook. I'm not into fattening foods. I love my kombuchas. I love my juicing. I love my lean meats. I love eating organic. Fresh Market is my place. I know every cell that they have during the week. Um, I am lactose intolerant, so milk and cheese out of the window. I do not like fast food because I do not like how, I don't like how fat, fast food tastes. Um, I'm more of the fine dining. I love to eat. Oh my God, guys, you wanna see something so cute? Look, his teeth is falling out, it's so cute. But sorry, sidetrack. As these videos get more and more, you guys get to see my personality. I'm not just the shy one, I'm shy, but hey. So, I, you know, what did I do? I went to, I was like, Kiva, we're gonna have a seafood boil. Let's go have a seafood boil. I ate my life out for three. No, it was like, it was like a good week. For a full week, because I had an appointment to the surgeon. My first appointment to the surgeon, like that week, like right after when I had the call. So I was like, I got a week. I had some seafood. I had some rice. I don't eat rice a lot. I had... um my client's mom was like, girl, just eat yourself like a large meal when you go and you weigh yourself and make the appointment in the afternoon because your weight does fluctuate at night. I have big boobs. I'm very heavy set. It. I barely have a big stomach. It's just I am tall. I'm 5'8", and I gave him the wrong height. So it put me in a bracket where I don't qualify. If I had comorbidities, I was like, just wait. So I was eating my late night snacks <laughs> was my sister-in-law came from trinidad and she came with a whole bunch of snacks that i never had so i was like oh we're eating all of this stuff like feeling sick to my stomach but not like really like stuffing i create my new i don't like how fast food tastes so i'm just like cooking very heavy hispanic foods um platano con salami that's plantains with sausage like a whole bunch of stuff so the day of my surgery comes, um, the day of me going to see my surgeon comes and girl, I hit that mark. I hit a little bit more than I expected, but I hit the mark at two, I was 274, 274. And mind you, I was on Wegovy too. I just began Wegovy just began like going like I was going to go pick it up um my first dose so I go see my surgeons um I told them that I had like very bad heartburn which I do um I 
have insomnia. I do take medication for sleeping medication. I told him about my depression and my anxiety. I told him about me being a lab rat of me being diagnosed with PCOS. From there, I took metformin. I lost my hair. I, I did so many things throughout my life. I tried the herbal life in middle school. Um, my mom put me on Herbalife. She was like, maybe this will help me lose weight. And it didn't. I just stood stagnant. Um, 2019 came before me getting married. I had my personal trainer. Um, he got a little frustrated too because I, I followed every single thing. I dropped 40 and it was our, my, our fifth month in and I stalled. Meaning stalling like I did not lose. Sorry. I did not lose, nor I did not gain. I was just beep. My highest weight recorded was 292. Currently, I am, because of what happened prior with my Wigovi and the water retention, um, I am 280. I'm 288 right now. Um, but with, okay, going back to my surgeon. So after my surgeon, I saw my surgeon. The bariatric center of Orlando ended up giving me a case manager. That case manager will see your insurance and will let you know the requirements that you need and the assessments that you have to do in order for you to be a, can a candidate, right? Your surgeon isn't the one that approves you directly for, for um, insurance. You go to your surgeon, he's like, yeah, I, I'm, you know, based on your story, I think you should have this type of surgery, either the sleeve, either the, the dual duino switch or the gastric bypass. Um, and then from there is when, boom, you know, the it starts because the determination team from your health insurance is the person, is the group that will be telling you if you're approved or not. So let's go down the list so let's get to my paper so she gave me this paper and highlights right so here was this is the center where i'm taking it the bariatric and la la Rapocosi center i'm butchering it guys at this point i just want you want to let you guys know what to do okay um so with this is a chart with this is a chart here is if i needed a year wait history by my insurance i did not need a year wait history by my insurance the next one is how many months or sessions you need with a physician um, to schedule your diet documentation with your primary care provider, nurse practitioner, or um, a physician assistant. She initially had put six months, but within that six months, I got called, well, the second month, I, no, sorry. Yeah, the second month, my bariatric nurse called me and said, oh, in 2022, we actually changed the requirements. You only need three months. And that's why last month was my last month. You know, like April was my last month. Um, and that's why I'm getting my surgery literally in three weeks. It's, it's insane. I'm terrified for my life. But anyway, it's going. <laughs> it's going to be great. Um, then it says like different type of insurances. Like if you have Blue Cross Blue Shield or, or if you're an Orlando Health Team member, right? They get... Um, perks if you are an orlando health team member you must have 12 months of consecutive insurance coverage after your 90 days and only one bariatric procedure is covered per lifetime if i knew that i'm a therapist for children with autism i would have you know but um, then you have United Healthcare. That's what I had. So for United Healthcare, it says, please call your bariatric resources program. And that was the first person I called that my client's mom recommended me to. 
Um, and then you have a third step, right? So first step is your weight history. Didn't need that. My second step was scheduling your dietitian documentation. And then the third step is complete all preliminary testing. Vermilion, no thank you. Um, so what did I, what is the, pre, the pl, preliminary testing, right? You need to call the Orlando Healthline and they actually will schedule everything for you. Um, so they were very helpful. Like you didn't have to go one by one. They will tell you, hey, the center has, um, has a nutritionist the center has a psychiatrist you can see them instead or you can go with your insurance i was like girl the same surgeon the same group pin me in so i had to have um the psychological evaluation and i had to do the nutrition evaluation then you have to do right and this was the most money so your psych the psychologist evaluation, mind you, when I went to the surgeon, you only pay the office visit based off your insurance, your copay. The psychologist, you have to just pay your copay. Now the nutritionist, since I used this nutritionist that they had, she doesn't go with insurance. So I had to pay $50 for this session and it was in a group setting with different people who are getting various different surgeries, same bariatric surgery, but if it's like the Dudino switch or the sleeve or what I'm getting, the gastric bypass. So it's a group class and that was $50. So look at these dates. Like the first week of February, I was making all these phone calls. And like February 22nd, I had my psychology evaluation. Um, February 2nd was actually the day that I went to go see the surgeon. And like the next day was when I scheduled the nutritionist evaluation. And so she just approves you. So to say, hey, she did go for the class. She did. She does have the knowledge. She has the booklet. Um, she's approved she basically approves everybody now the psychological evaluation you don't really get on my chart for Orlando you don't really get to see like what she wrote but you're basically telling her all your life story you know have you always been heavy set are you an emotional eater what made you gain weight mine was very simple I've had PCOS my whole life diagnosed with PCOS at the age of 13 um I've done Herbalife. I'm doing current, like I was currently doing like Ovi. I've tried everything and I always fluctuate in weight. I never saw under 4, 240 since I was in high school. I've always been heavy set. Um, so that got approved. And then this is for from the surgeon, what they want you to do. They want you to do like a a gold bladder ultrasound where you have to go to the hospital. You have to do a upper IG, which just looks at your IG tract to see if you have acid reflux, which is the most nastiest thing in the world. And then you do an EKG. Now, when I went into the hospital, I was like, oh, okay, I think my insurance is gonna cover everything. I was wrong. Thank goodness I have a savings account. So, well, I was right and I was wrong at the same time. Let me, let me explain. So for the lipid panels, basically the blood test, didn't have to pay anything. What I had to pay out of pocket was the gold bladder ultrasound, where they check your gold bladder. They charged me four, $546 and some change. Um, you can get a bill to you or you can pay it there with Orlando Health. But I actually got a reimbursement because by the time like they sent everything to my insurance, my insurance covered, um, I only had to pay $300. So the 200 and some change, they actually reimbursed, it reimbursed it to me. So that was good because it was like months after, like two months after, and then I had some, you know, some money to pay for vitamins and stuff like that. <laughs> um, 
And then the EKG is the second thing. So if your EKG comes out normal, you're fine. My EKG came out abnormal. The person who did my EKG told me almost 85% of the human population will always have an abnormal EKG. So I think this is where it's like the little money scam a little bit is because if you have an abnormal EKG, you have to go see the cardiologist, right? So the cardiologist is able to bill under your insurance. You see the cardiologist and then he just looks at the EKG and then he's like, okay, well, your second EKG came out fine, the one that he did, but he's like, let's do a stress test and you know, that's where you you get hooked up with EKGs and you're running on a treadmill. And I was like, oh God, okay, cool. All of that was covered by my insurance. So I really wasn't like fronting, but I was just like, you know, hit that in that appointment was probably like four, three weeks. And then I, I am a very type A, I'm a Virgo. I want everything done, bada bing, bada boom. If I can do it, I can so it gave me a little bit anxiety um but that came out all fine the guy was like oh you're good i'll just send it to your doctor your doctor's gonna be approved and then you see your surgeon he goes over and he's like boom you're approved so once you get all of that approved the your case manager will call you my surgeon my new when i saw him he didn't ask me to lose any weight. He was just like, you know, keep on on the journey because I, I eat very healthy. He was just like, just add a little bit more exercise and whatnot. And I was like, okay, cool. But when I read my chart and like the summary and what they actually sent to insurance, they told the insurance that they recommend me to lose 10 to 15 pounds. But that gave me anxiety because I'm like, wait, if the insurance is the one that does that determines it and they see like my weight is not completely down, I'm not gonna get approved. That's the type A that I'm talking about. That's me. <laughs> so I went ahead and I called the center and they were like, no, that's just for all procedure. That's just what insurance would like to see. But no, you're fine. Uh, I was like, okay, cool. Um, so after that is the waiting game. My three months finished. The second month I went to, not my, primary care I went to a CVS and did like the minute clinic as long as somebody writes that had that is a doctor you can go to the minute clinic you can go to the Walgreens um doctor place you can <laughs> you can go to your doctor's office and every month they just have to wait you so since I had three months John April April 1st was my third month I submitted all the documentation. Mind you, the first month I had everything approved. My bariatric surgeon called me for, um, March and was like, you only need three months. And she was like, okay, well call me when you submit everything after your third month. So after my third month, I called her. She told me about um, Rally Coach and I really like it. They send like a really cool PR box with like, um, like a smoothie thing and a blender and what you weigh yourself with and like videos and you get like online sessions with um, like a group setting with a personal coach and it's a really nice community but it's not truly just for bariatric people it's just people all around and your insurance will cover most insurances cover that so that's out of pocket like you don't have to pay anything out of pocket and that kind of helps you motivate it um I don't do it anymore because my schedule for work is crazy. So I just have like everything that they gave me and I continue to do the workouts. Um, so after my third month, my case manager contacted me. Here's a cool story about this. My surgeon that I first saw was not qualified by the United Healthcare. So when they sent all the information to the determining team, it takes about 15 days for United Healthcare to come up with a decision. I suffer from anxiety. I cannot sleep, eat, walk, talk. Didn't want to work for those 15 days because I was so, so nervous. I can only pray to the universe. <laughs> 
and my crystals. Um, and they contacted me and they were like, oh, your surgeon doesn't qualify. He's not under the bariatric of excellence under our primary care. So thankfully, in the same clinic, they had two other surgeons where they were. So they just changed the surgeon. I've yet to see the surgeon. I see this, my surgeon on the 24th, but that's for just to get everything situated for my surgery, which is June 1st. So it they actually approved it that day, but the weekend, because they called me on a Friday, the weekend came and I called on Monday. And I was like, hey, I didn't get any update. You know, can you see? I was calling United Healthcare for those 15 days, like every three days no lie to see what the appeal what was the result of the appeal because even though the clinic sends the information you should be the one calling your insurance to getting an update on things because once you get approved or once they tell you because at the clinic they told me i might know before they do but they actually knew before i did um you can call and so, you know, they can be like, oh my goodness, this girl is blowing up our phone. Let's read her thing and get, you know, <laughs> get it going. Um, so, yeah. That's my journey, guys. And now I'm here. Day three of uh, the liquid diet that I'm supposed to do before surgery. They say you should do it two weeks before. But with my anxiety, I've done like two weeks of all liquids because my wife and I, we juice and we did like a juice detox like two year, like a year ago. So I was like, let's just get it going. Um, So I'm currently doing my liquid diet and that will be on the next video as to everything I needed to buy. I'm gonna go over all of the vitamins that I purchased and who I purchased it from. I have some promotion codes that if you're at that level, um, if you're at that stage where you're purchasing, I actually called the companies and was like, hey, I'm a first time buyer and I'm looking to see to make a purchase. Do you have any coupons or promo codes? So they're very nice. Um, but yeah, that is my journey. I, sorry if you, my hands were moving a lot. Ooh. Actually was messing with my puppy. 